this demonstration, I will focus on various papers with pan pastels, soft tools and applicators, and various pastel mediums that go hand in hand with pan pastels. This is the eighth of eight and the last paper study we are viewing using a handful of papers which I feel most artists are asking about and the pan pastels. G'day ladies and gents, welcome to x Art. Thanks for joining me and in this study I will be demonstrating pastel mat by Claire Fontaine which is made in France. My focus is how the pan pastels work on pastel mat and this surface is an absolute treat to work on. Pastel mat has a toothy gentle surface but not rough to the touch. The tooth is not pronounced and allows for precise details whilst also having the ability to grab and hold many layers of pigment as a result of this surface's ability to hold multiple layers the chances of using fixative is practically nil pastel matte paper is based on 360 gsm acid free and a light fast cardstock this is also available in boards and I can go on and on about the sizes and the information, but I will leave those in, or I'll leave the details in the description box below. But as I mentioned before, my focus is how the pans apply on this surface. The paper I'm using in this demonstration is anthracite. Here, you see me applying pan pastels with the soft tool applicators on this cute little mushroom which you will see all the way through this study on eight surfaces. I pick up the pigment from the pan with the soft tool applicator and I was able to evenly apply the pigment on the surface. I was also able to mix colours on the surface which is a key feature of this medium. As you will see here, the first few layers are blotchy. Uh, that's because the tooth of the surface grabs the pastel and it's not until you keep on layering that you see the pastel area come together. These pans pack a punch when it comes to the pigment and so evident as you see here in the initial layers. As with UART 800, uh, the previous video of which I'll leave a link for you to view and the other videos in this paper series uh, trying to find a negative about this surface to balance out the positives but I'm finding it very hard to criticize this paper also in combination with the pan pastels perhaps the only thing I could say is that the soft tools will definitely crumble but not nearly as quickly as compared to say you art uh, but that's to be expected seeing that this is a textured surface. Also, I will say this paper did everything I asked of it. Uh, retaining the vibrancy of the pan pastels, mixing colours and the application in general. I enjoy working with many layers and I couldn't tell you how many layers I applied. Uh, I could have kept on adding layers with the pans and in combination with the pastel pencils and found painting with these. The pastel pencils I used were Stabilo Carbothello, Bronzales, Giocondas, Conti, uh, Faber Castell Pastel Pit. The pastel pencils just glided on the pan pastel layers and I had no trouble at layering yet again. The question to ask, is this paper suited to pan pastels? I say absolutely. I think I could go on to say that you can take the pans uh, to 80 to 90 percent of the way before applying pastel pencils for details. But having said that, um, I have successfully taken these pans to 100 percent on projects. I 
I would love to read your experiences with Pastel Matt. Please leave your comment in the comment section below. And I will be releasing a summary video ranking my preferences. So remember, these are my preferences suited to the way I work. My name is Chrissy, and all I have to say, if not, but in most cases, it's all about the surface. So keep on keeping on.